Mina, I think the movie Pretty Woman has made me who I am today because I thought I'm gonna meet a Richard Gere who drives a nice car and the first guy that drove a nice car that went past me, I gave him a baby. <laughs> So Sundays are literally my days. Um, I don't visit, I sometimes don't wash. And this is where my sister and I sit on the phone while she goes and gets uh, lunch for her daughters. She gets things that she needs for the house. And we just catch up on like gossip and we just speak so much nonsense. I am depressed. The thing is now you can't wake up on the Sunday and just food. I call you every minute of every day. What do you mean? I'm Tande Gamkunu also known as Tiara. Well, Kanye calls me Tiara, and now my daughters call me Tiara. I'm a mother to three beautiful girls. I'm a sister, not only to Kanye, but eight other siblings. <laughs> I'm a businesswoman, and I'm a taxi boss. When I woke up, I woke up with a plan. No, that was not a plan. You woke up with anarchy. Who do you want to go mess up people's Sundays? Tanega's loud. She's like a chihuahua. Tanega, when she's angry, she's gonna come around. Have you seen a small dog around a big dog? I'll call you after I'm done. Tell them what I want to tell them. So I must not phone you because you want to tell people sh So between me and Kanye, Kanye is more of the calm one. And people don't expect that. They expect Kanye to be the diva, but it's the sister who's not famous who's the crazy one. Today we're at Caprioli Stables. We've recently bought a house down the road. So my girls want to try horse riding. So why are they not here? Because they're at school. So why, what are we doing here? We're here to sign them up. So we can't sign them up for something we like. It's like buying a car. You don't just buy a car, you test drive a car. My sister had this grand idea of taking me as her guinea pig to test drive horses for her kids. The girls really want to do this. Okay, can you please help? You know me and yeah. the animals and no, all bro. those. No. I'll join you. Let's no, do bro. it together. Fine. Two horses, yes. Okay, let's you're do it. You're always together. get you're always getting out of things. Today you're gonna be different. You're gonna get on a horse. Hi Quant. Even if it's just walking around. Okay. So I've never ridden a horse. I've taken pictures on many, but I haven't actually been on one that actually moves or is mobile. Ah! Okay, guys, don't don't be so <laughs> guy. Oh my lord. So you're gonna put your foot in the stirrup and swing up and over. And I'm gonna make them shorter for you. <sighs> um, Bro, don't leave this horse, yo. <laughs> there we go. This is ex girlfriend's hair. I've got you. Don't leave me, girl. So I was kinda nervous, because you know everything on my body is fragile, if you know what I mean. So if I had to fall, that means uh, I might have to repair a few things, because this body is glad. Okay, you ready to let me put you on the lunge? So you're gonna go out a little bit on your own? <gasps> Never! Just try. Never, Just try. never. Small babe. circle. No, bro. Small never, circle. Never, <laughs> ever on a normal day. Just try on no, a small no, no. circle. No, no, no. The only horses I drive, they're Oh, no, no, not on your own. On your you own. I'm going to hold you on here. She's holding you. But she's not there. It is a horse, and I am glass. I didn't want to break. I think you're going to feel All it. All eh? time, alligator. Tana, it keeps looking you at you. Got to hit the road. <laughs> Faith, it's a lot. Faith, I can't. It's too much. Good. So now that Tanega is going to be living down the road from here, I might just start horse riding. Okay, where do I hold on? I'm so proud of you. Yeah, yeah. Anywhere where you're comfortable. Oh, no, I don't want to strangle him. Give me a hug. Good luck. It's heavy. I love you. Seeing the horse for the first time, I wasn't too sure. Are you ready to try walk on your own? Yes, I am. Give it to me, baby. I'm always the brave one in 90% of everything in life, but the horse riding. Oh, excuse me, mother of nations. <laughs> <laughs> Tandega is a kinky little cat. Don't see the innocent face, and she looks 16. She's as dirty as a mug. I'm in Rosebank Light Sculpt. This is where I get everything done, from my fillers, to Botox, to my IV shots, to my facials. I started the journey with them seven years ago, and the lighter you get, certain parts are just stubborn. You know, you've got the knuckles, you've got the knees, you've got the elbows, and now it's my penis. 
my bum. Yes. Lala, when I'm doing the deed, the light is on me. The lights are going to be on two o'clock in the day. So, under the sun. It's pretty. Shame. You know, my sister, guys, you know, sometimes she reminds me of, uh, you know, back in the day when we still used to use just hot combs in our hair. She's so primitive at times. In the dark, no. With all this work done, the lights must be on. Two o'clock under the sun, you know? Gosh, she needs to live a little. I need you to turn around and face the other I side. I didn't see my bum. So what are we doing on the bums? My, my bums are black. I've okay. got that black line. Just turn on the side. Just on the on side. On the side. Oh. Just on the side like that. And then your one leg comes up like that. Oh, like you're waiting for Mr. Mr. Oh, is Maggie it? lingerie. Like a side. Is this how you do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And there's rose petals. So how do you sit like this? Yeah, and there's rose petals from the door to the bed. And what do you, when you call it, you go, no, then you've got a glass of shampoos there. Hey, lover boy, come here, lover you boy. You kinky little cat. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> what I don't understand is that why are you not on this bed right like, now? Like, I don't understand, because she's the one who needs it more than I do. She needs it more than you here. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's dark. <laughs> But can you see, Z? Can you see the darkness there? Yes, definitely. Can you see oh it? Oh my word, your ass is dark. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see. But see, look, look, look. No, but do not. Look, no, I, want you to, I want you to see it. Look, can you see it? <laughs> this girl walks into light sculpt to brighten up her noon. <laughs> so the only time I'm open for somebody to see my nunu is with my partner. But yeah, now all these people see the Nunu, Jan. <laughs> I'm going to see a yogi um, with my sister. I think the lockdown has been heavy on us. We haven't been doing any movement. I'm slightly stiff, but I need something to just help me stretch, you know, and just breathe and just get the chakras right and just get me aligned. Namaste. Namaste. Yes. I am Bushe Mabanga. Nice, nice to meet you. Sushi must be made by a Jap guy. Yoga must actually be a white chick, so. <laughs> It was different, you know, to meet a black girl who's a yogi. I've never done this before, vibes, you know? But I'm that girl, like, if sushi's from a black guy, it's like, ah, now it's a rolled rice now. So, today's practice is dedicated to opening up the heart chakra. The heart chakra is by the center of your heart. We hold on to a lot of jealousy, resentment. <laughs> All of us do. Um, lack of forgiveness, lack of forgiveness for ourselves you know, and lack of forgiveness for the people that have hurt us. So the, you, the more you open this area, the more you just surrender all this burden that's been on your shoulders. Gentle breath in and sigh out. <sighs> Let's hold on to the leg that's in front of us. That's perfect. And then you're going to breathe in and bring the chest forward. Breathing out, rounding your back. Breathing in, chest forward. Breathing out, round your back. Breathing in. Namaste. That's the right. Breathe in, sweep the arms up, sit back immediately. Breathing out, hands in prayer position. Breathing in, turn your body to the left. Your right elbow is outside your left knee. Beautiful. Nice, Tandega. Tandega, you're a new mama, so yeah. you're doing well. <laughs> oh, can I just do something silly? Let's come back to the center. Yes. And breathe in. Nonsense. <laughs> breathe out, release the hands. This is the best class ever. Imagine that. You are walking at the beach. It's the early hours of the morning. You can see the sun rising. You can feel the sand in your feet. You can hear the gentle waves. You can also smell the sea breeze.
you decide to sit down on the sand and just watch the waves. You reach for your handbag and you start to take out your journal or your diary and a pen. You open up your diary and you start to journal all the things that you'd like to let go of. You write the names of the people that no longer serve your highest good. I'm not able to lie on my back without taking something to help me relax because of what, of anxiety disorder. To other people, it might, not, it might not mean anything, but to me, lying flat on my back, it means a lot. It, it was so healing. So I, I love it. Something I'm gonna be doing. Bye -bye!